Hey, what's happening everybody? This is Robert the Leather Cowboy Muhammad right here at Premier Leather Crafters in the Dirty South uh, with another video. It's actually been a minute since I've been able to do one of these. I've been extremely busy here in the shop. Uh, I got a lot going on. As you probably guys can see, it's a lot going on. Uh, but new equipment. We got new equipment. We got new stuff. I got stuff everywhere. So... Um, but I felt really bad about having not done one of these in such a long time that I decided to sit down and just stop what I was doing and give you guys some new information or some new tips that's really making waves right now in the leather crafting world. Uh, as far as on the Leathers Guild, on all of the pages and everything that's happening on social media, this pattern is really becoming very popular. And <clears throat> there is not a stamp. Well, yes, it is. Um, Sergio or Sergey something, something, something from across the water. He has actually made... Uh, this particular pattern into a stamp and I think Tandy just released one as well um, But this pattern is called the herringbone pattern which is really making a lot of waves right now in the leather crafting world uh, It's basically taking over the basket weave stamp or the basket weave pattern is actually taking over and a lot of crafters are doing it now. Uh, and it took me a minute to actually figure out how to do it. But it's not that hard. It's not that complex. Um, but the one thing about it is you have to stay on top of it or you can lose yourself in the pattern, especially if you're going to be drawing this your own self. And you can do it several ways. You can make this hair and bone pattern skinny and long or rectangular shape, or you can make it more square shape. But whatever way that you think is going to work for you, uh, whether you're going to be applying it to belts or, or or whatever you're going to be trying to utilize it for, this pattern can be done in different ways. But one thing I do recommend is that once you guys get the pattern down and you get it drawn out how you want it, make sure that you put this on tracing film. Make sure you put it on tracing film and save it by putting, and you guys can see, there's my tape line, putting you some cellophane packets and tape on it to preserve it. Because once you get it down one time, you'll never have to worry about drawing it again. You just pretty much just fill up a square or work, put as much on a square as you want. And then you can go ahead and apply this to any particular piece that you're working on. So today's video, boys and girls, is exactly that. I'm going to be going in and showing you guys how to do this herringbone pattern, which is making major waves. I mean, everybody is trying to latch on to it and do it right now because it's really making work stand out and pop. And the only tools that you will need is either A, a smooth beveler, which, oh God, nothing has changed about the yarn, and I'm telling you, I'm sorry about that. Uh, but you guys have been following long enough to know, so let me get you the two tools that we're going to use. And um, so you guys hold on, I'll be right back. Let me find these tools. Okay, and we're back. So now let's show you guys what tools we're going to be working with. <clears throat> and you know that I have to get uh, getting up in age, so I got to get these bifocals out so we, we can definitely see and show you guys what we're working with. Let me get my light adjusted and angled correctly. Um, now, you can work with several tools, and these are three tools that I've chosen that you that can work with this herringbone pattern, and you can definitely make the work pop. So, um, you can either go with the craft tool B as in boy, B200, which is an angled, angled, smooth, a smooth angled beveler, smooth angle. Or you can use the craft tool B as in boy, 199, 
which is a uh, it's an also an angled beveler, but it has the rib the lines the angel hair lines running through it from uh, north and south or vertical. Or you can also use the um, now this is not a I think this is a craft tool. It's a Tandy tool B as in boy eight o two. 802, which is also an angled backgrounder. You guys can see it's the matte backgrounding. It's an angled backgrounder. So you can use any one of these. And the, the thing that I want to convey it to you or, or to get over to you guys is any angled tool. And these are square ends angled. These any of these three will work. All right. So now for the sake of this video, um, what, we, what I'm going to do is, and I'll probably do it in another video, is to show you guys how to draw this out and the different ways that you can draw this out. But this is clearly just to show you guys how to use the two, uh, use the pattern, and it can go on to anything. So let me find a scrap piece of um, leather and basically what I'm going to do I'm just going to use this old design of some sandals that I was working on I didn't know exactly what I was going to put on there but this sounds like a good enough time as any and we're just going to case this a little bit and uh, let that put a nice little casing on it and uh, actually, while this is doing that, um, I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, take my point stylus. And I'm going to actually transfer the pattern. I'm going to go ahead and do this for the sake of time. So you guys stay right, to, stay right there. I'll come right back and we'll have the pattern transferred. Okay, and we're back. So now let's get on off in this. I'm going to go ahead and tilt this camera down. And you guys can see that the pattern has already been transferred. And <clears throat> so, the, of course, obviously, the next tool that we're going to use is our swivel knife. And we're going to cut. Now, the thing with this particular pattern is you do not cut every line. That is key and paramount. And this is the part there where you don't, uh, want to lose the flow of your pattern. So, let me see if I can bag this up a little bit or pull this back so you guys can see it. But you don't want to lose the flow of your pattern and this is what's going to tell you to cut what not to cut every line. So now, here we go. Uh, and I like to use this one here. So I'm going to run this up. And it doesn't have to be a deep line. You don't have to put a deep cut, in other words. Because we want this pattern to work all the way across. And it's fairly simple. Even the drawing part of it is fairly simple. So just to give you guys a rough sketch or a rough idea how this is going to work. Uh, and some you can and some crafters may tell you to cut every one of them some may tell you to cut the flow of your herringbone deep on those lines and cut the opposite lines not so deep okay so and what I mean by simply that is uh, let me get these lines cut in here you see the part of the herringbone here that's overlapping um this is the part that you will want to cut deep on this part here and there there and there there and there and so forth all the way down the middle of your bone and then the intersecting pieces here the joining pieces because these are going to go under the bone or under the herring bone to create that pattern so it doesn't have to be cut deep here but it has to be cut deep here 
and here because this line is simulating like it's going under these two and coming. Well, let me use my stylus. It's like it's going under these two and coming back up over here. And the same thing for these. It's going down and up. So this part here is the connecting crossbone. So this this center bone or center of the herring bone does not have to be cut deeply. Just the part that's going under and up. Because this is where we're going to use our bevel tool. So let me move some of these watches out of the way uh, that we're doing some custom watch bands on. And I'm going to try to move this um, uh, over here so I can be on top of my slab to start doing tooling work. So now check this out. Now with the one that I selected was the B. 902 the as in boy 902 and I'm going to start the tooling work here now the and I will just want to do this here and I'm going to find that connecting line and come over here now again these lines are the ones that's cut or cut deep and your intersecting bone does not have to be cut deep because we want this line to flow under the crossing bones and flow out the other end so now this is how I started um, some crafters may tell you different again everybody has their own thing is um, what is more comfortable and works for you. I'm pretty sure somebody will say, well, that's not the proper way, cowboy. Whoop, 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 whoop. Hey, as long as the simulation fits and as long as the look works, it's okay -okay with me. Now, here's the trick about the crossing bone down the center of this. You're not going to bevel all the way across. You're only going to bevel half of this line because it's woven and you want to see the woven of the herringbone part. So we're just going to bevel the top, which is, if you're looking at this, I'm going to bevel the top part of this corner and the bottom part of that. So it's gonna go opposite of this one instead of all the way across. So we're gonna go opposite and this is that twisting motion as it's going up under there. And just want to hit that top part. Not the complete thing. And then we're going to turn this around and bevel the opposite corner. And of course, you want to do the edges as well, um, because like like I said, this is the intersecting part, so you want to make sure that you hit all of that on the intersecting line. And stay with the flow of your pattern. So as you guys can see, this is twisting this way up under here. Now, if, this was, if I was to finish completely doing this, uh, let's look at the, another line. This is basically manipulating the eye and saying that it's twisting this way back up under here and it's twisting back that way as it comes out the other side. And it's the same way all the way down. Now, of course, if we're going to finish this complete product we'll, uh, or piece, we'll also bevel the opposite side too. So it'll have that twisting and beveling motion or that the beveling will give it that twisting motion as if it's being woven up under each one of these crossing bones. What I call bones, but it's definitely called the herring bone pattern. And... It's the same thing as in your drawing. If you don't get lost, like even here, 
this one here is still following up on this one here. So it'll be continuously going under this, under that, up, under, under, up, under, under, up. So it's just like going like a little snake or a little wave type motion. And these are all my crossing bones here as if you was braiding this. Now, in the urban culture, we call this corn rolling. You don't call it herringbone, but it's the same principle as if you were um, uh, corn rolling hair or braiding hair. It'll be the same principle and technique or the same look and effect. So, and you can even narrow these rectangles, um, these uh, uh, rectangles, or, uh, you can even angle those thinner if you want to use this in a belt pattern. Or if you want to use it on a, a watch or a, 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 a watch band or a wallet or anything, it's just all about how you want to uh, thin you want these uh, uh, rectangles to be, but it's the same principle and technique. I hope this helped you guys out. If you guys, uh, well, you know, let me get set right back up. I, I love, I love this new tripod, man. It is just simply amazing because all I have to do is just swivel the little neck. It is, is real cool beans, real cool beans. But um, uh oh, playing with it too much and it's lost. <laughs> But anyway, um, if you guys have any questions, you can always hit me up on either Premier Leather Crafters um, on Facebook. You can hit me up on all social media. You can even ask me to drop comments at below this video if you have any questions or if you want me to go more in detail. Just simply click the subscription button and it'll send me an email with your questions in there and I'll get back to you guys ASAP as soon as I can. As soon as I can, because again, uh, business has really taken off. So I thank you guys for chilling with me these 17 minutes. This is Robert the Leather Cowboy right here at Premier Leather Crafters in the Dirty South doing the leather tooling herringbone pattern. You know, see you guys on the other side. Keep it grinding.